Prime Minister, outside and inside this G20 summit, it seems like it's going to be one of the most fractious ever. Uh, is Brexit Britain under your leadership part of the solution or part of the problem? We are going to play our full part in this G20 summit and we will be discussing some very important topics. I'm very pleased that Chancellor Merkel has put up front on the agenda leaders sitting around the table and discussing counter-terrorism issues. And what I will be talking about is the need for us to deal with the financing of terrorism, both large-scale financing but also smaller-scale financing. I think there are initiatives we can take as an international community to ensure that we can prevent the financing of terrorism, which will be helping to keep us all safe and secure. On the really big divides on trade and on climate change, does Britain have the influence that it had? Your predecessor, William Haig, said that Brexit's damaging our ability to work with other EU countries and influence them. That, that's true, isn't it? No, what I see when I talk to leaders from around the world is a real interest in engaging with Britain and a real interest in Britain uh, as it will be outside the European Union. A truly global Britain, uh, making new friends and working with old allies around the world. And we will be contributing. We will be a leading player in proclaiming the benefits of free trade. I'm very clear that we will be trading, wanting to do trade deals around the rest of the world, of course, getting a comprehensive free trade agreement with the European Union as well. But trade, global trade, global free trade is good for our citizens. It's about prosperity. It's about growth. It's about jobs. Are people around that table convinced that you're going to be there in a year or two's time? Yes, we'll be playing our absolutely full part and I'll be playing my full part. And the issues that we're discussing are important. I'm pleased that counter-terrorism is top on the agenda uh, of at this uh, G20 and the UK will be playing a leading role in that debate, ensuring that we're working as an international community. We've already brought the international community together to deal with the question of extremism and terrorism online and uh, making sure that the internet is not a safe space for terrorists. Today we'll be talking particularly about terrorist financing, working together to ensure that we can defeat this threat that is a challenge to us all. And when you see President Trump, will you look into his eyes and say the Paris Climate Change Accord is not for negotiation? I've already said to President Trump that we believe in the Paris uh, Climate Change Agreement, we remain a member of that and we want to see the United States returning to that. OK, so business leaders are meeting your Brexit secretary today at evening. Um, I just wonder uh, whether they should know very clearly on the 30th of March 2019, will Britain be out of the customs union? What we will be discussing as part of our negotiations for the future arrangement is we do want to ensure that we can trade around the rest of the world. That means we can't be members of every part of the customs union, but we want to continue to have uh, tariff-free and as frictionless trade across borders as possible because we want to ensure that we have that good trading relationship with the EU. But that's not just in our interests, it's in the interests of the remaining 27 member states of the European Union as well. That's why I believe we can negotiate a good deal with the European Union that benefits both us and them. Can you guarantee that the deals that Liam Fox signs uh, with other countries, third countries, will make up for any loss of trade from leaving the customs union? What I want to see is the United Kingdom as a global Britain with free trade agreements around the world. That's what Liam is looking will at. They in make, terms will they make up for That's each other? what Liam is looking at in terms of his uh, uh, talks that we've already started with the Americans, talks we're having with India and with other countries around the world. But I do want to see that deep and special partnership with the EU, a comprehensive free trade agreement with the EU, so that we can continue to trade with the European Union. But that's not just in our interests, it's in the interests of the other 27 member states as well. Has your approach to the customs union and to Brexit changed in any way as a result of the election? What I've been clear about from the beginning of uh, this uh, negotiation, but also before that, as I've set out in previous speeches, is that what we want is a good deal for Britain. We want a deep and special partnership with the European Union. We're leaving the EU, we're not leaving Europe. just must ask about this issue about intimidation of MPs and candidates. How serious an issue is this and what can be done about it? Well, I've been absolutely shocked uh, at the number of colleagues who have talked to me about intimidation, about harassment, about bullying during the election campaign. There can be no place in our democracy for behaviour like that. I'm determined to do something about it. I'm determined to stamp it out. And I would say that we, to do that, we need all party leaders to condemn this bullying and harassment and intimidation. We are going to have none of this in our democracy, and we need to act to make sure we stamp it out. Thank you very much. Thank you.